Good morning, everyone. I have been up recording little clips for my collard green video, and I'm going to be putting that all together and getting back to you all with that video a little bit later. Okay, guys. Enjoy the day. Be safe. Good morning, everybody. As I promised, I will be showing you all how I make my collard greens, as you all can see. These are the greens here, and I think I have four bundles in here. They're still frozen, so they have to sit out for a couple hours. I think I may have three or four in here, and three in here. But yeah, like I said, they're frozen. They have some frost on them, as you can see here. So you can see the frost on them. So like I said, they're going to unthaw here for a while, but this is the meat that I'll be using in my collard greens. And these are smoked turkey tails, which adds a lot of flavor. And it's two packs of those. And it's also two packs of smoked turkey wings so we have that and I have a smoked turkey wing and a fresh one back here so I'll get back to you guys a little bit later when I am about to actually put the turkey on and pick the greens okay guys to the loop all right everybody I have taken the smoked turkey tails and the smoked turkey wings and washed it all off so now I'm going to add it to my pot the water's not boiling yet but it's okay so I've washed it so you guys can see before I put it in the pot okay so what the turkey tails look like so another turkey wing this is the smoked one the other one was fresh okay I'm just going to get this in the pot, guys, and cover it up because it's going to have to cook for a couple hours before I put the greens in here. So, I'll get back to you all. We'll cover it up, you guys. Get back to you later. Hey, everybody out there. I am Adrian, and... I'm going to be dipping in and out, you guys, but I just want to show you all how I pick my greens, okay? So, I'm just going to get started, you guys. All right, so you take one empty bag, and this is for the leafy part of the green, and you take another empty bag because this is for the stem, okay? And I have three bundles right here as you guys can see three bundles here okay so this is what I do untie the bundle okay all right guys my meat's been on for a while and it's definitely time for the greens to go into the pot. But this is what the green looks like, collard green, you guys. And what you do is you take the leafy part and you tear it off of the stem. Okay, just that easy. You put the leafy part in one bag, stem in the other. That's basically it, you guys. So I'll show you how it's done again. Take a collard green, rip off the leafy part, put the stem in the bag, the leafy part in another bag, and so on and so, so forth, you guys. It's a pretty, pretty big one here. Okay, same thing. Tear off the leafy part, just takes a few seconds. Stem in one bag, leafy part in the other bag. So, okay, you guys, I'm gonna get back to you when it's done and I'm about to wash them. <laughs> okay guys now what I really should have did was got 
all three different types of um of greens because there's mustard greens and they're very very leafy there's collard which are these here um, the ones that I'm picking and there's also turnip and the reason why I say this is because I happen to have some turnip greens so I can show you what they look like and this is what they look like just they're leafier well they're leafy, but they're just kind of skinny. The leafy part is kind of skinny compared to a collard, where a collard is pretty, pretty big. So let me just open one up here so I can compare the two. Um, the next time I do a green uh, video, I will definitely show you all the difference in all three types. Okay, but this is the difference between a turnip green, which is this here, and a collard green okay so these are way bigger and these are just like skinnier and the mustard greens is like really smaller and really um, it, they're leafy too but they're just smaller so this is the difference the collars are green I mean bigger I'm sorry guys they're all green <laughs> But these are thinner and these are much bigger. So I really don't like to pick um, turn up greens, these here. But uh, one got caught up in the, um, in the bunch. So yeah, okay guys. I'm also just gonna get done and I'll get back to you guys with an ASMR clip. I hope you guys like it. I will be getting back to you all with me washing them in the next clip, you guys. Okay, okay everybody. This is what I do when I wash my greens, okay? 
Here are the grains, they're dirty. And I wash mine, guys, almost individually. But you get the water to like, I like my water to be a little hot, just a little bit. Okay. And this is a bowl that I use when the greens are clean. They go in here, okay? So I'm gonna set this here. And like I said, I take a few greens at a time and wash them like this. Because I really just wanna make sure that they are clean. And some people, they put their greens in like the whole sink, uh, you know, sink full of water. And I don't do that because like I said, I need to make sure that these greens are clean. So if I do them almost, wash them almost individually, I know that they will be clean. And this bunch here actually had a lot of sand. And I felt a lot of sand. So the one thing you do not want is to serve yourself or anybody else gritty, sandy, dirty greens. You do not want to do that, people. So, this is why I take my time to clean them almost, like I said, individually. I want to make sure they are clean. So, that's what I do. Takes me a little while, but that's okay. I'm going to get back to you guys and let you see what I do when I put them in the pot. So, I'm going to get back to you all. Okay, I'm going to finish washing these greens here, you guys. So I'll see you in the next clip when they're about to go in the pot. All right. Okay, everybody. I have washed the greens here clean. And I'm going to put some in the pot, some more in the pot, as you can see. I already have some in there. So after I do that... I am going to season them with some very basic seasonings. Okay. Okay. I haven't done picking all of them, but it's okay. I normally like to put half and half because look at how full the pot is. And it's a pretty big pot, but look at how full it is. But they do cook down. So I like to put half in the pot and then put my seasoning so that it's in the middle because I know like maybe another amount this this size has to go in the pot maybe even more so i have to wait till these cook down so while they're cooking down i add fresh onion okay see i want this onion to get all in there everywhere okay now i'll be coming back to add more onion later cut that up and I add a little bit of salt. You guys, not too much, because like I said, the, the meat in here is already smoked, so a little salt. Use as much, you know, salt, you know, as you like. And I use sugar right here, just regular sugar. And not too much, guys, but just a little bit. Okay. Really depends on you like them but I also use the pepper the ground pepper which I'm going to put in here but I can't hold the phone and do it so after this goes in the top goes on it I'm going to let it cook down for maybe half hour before I put the rest in so I'll get back to you all when the greens are done